Hi guys, this is Taylor and I'm here with a pretty big book haul. These books come from lots of different places so I've separated them out into where I got them. The very first book I'm extremely excited about, um, it's actually a galley of Mary Carr's new nonfiction on writing memoir called The Art of Memoir. Mary Carr, as you might probably know, is considered the modern master of memoir and she now has a book about writing memoir which I am currently reading and thoroughly enjoying. Next I have something very different. Um, this is actually a uh, adult coloring book which is a pretty popular thing right now. This one is basically cityscapes. Um, some of them are of real places, some of them like this one is kind of like a mandala but it's very cool. Stuff like this stuff like this. There's like Manhattan there. I love it. The next books all come from various thrift shops around town. We don't really have a lot of good used bookstores around here. We do have thrift stores that sell books for very very cheap, like you know, a quarter. Um, so these are all from there. First we have the first volume of the Kristen Lavrun's Daughter trilogy. This is also a penguin drop cap that I found in absolutely perfect condition. This is a series about a woman in Norway in the 1400s, 1300s. Um, it's a modern classic. It was written in the turn of the century, but um, I'm very excited about this. Next I have Lisa C's Peony in Love. I read Snowflower and the Secret Fan last year and it fucked me up. Um, <laughs> and I cannot wait to be fucked up by this. I also picked up Portrait of the Artist as a Young Man by James Joyce. I know that this is uh, Max from Well Done Books. This is one of his favorite books, so I decided to go in on his recommendation. I also have Animal Dreams by Barbara Kingsolver. I was assigned to read this in sophomore year of high school. I read the first chapter and liked it, but then just didn't do it because that was just me in high school. <laughs> But um, I've thought about it a lot since then, and I think I do really want to try and pick it up again. Next I have The Art Forger by B.A. Shapiro. This is described as a literary thriller, which is not a genre I have read a lot of, or any at all. This, honestly, I don't know a lot about, but it is about forging art. And it's been on my radar for a little bit, so I was excited to find it in the store. Next I have another, uh, just kind of essential modern classic. I have One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest by Ken Kesey. I honestly am not a huge fan of this edition. Um, oh, it has a Borders sticker on the back. Borders! But I've definitely wanted to read this for a long time. This was another book that I might have been assigned in sophomore year, but just didn't read. I also have The Color Purple by Alice Walker modern classic that I have yet to read. This one was most recently read by Ashley from Clan Stacks and she absolutely loved it so you know, can't go wrong. I was also very excited to find The Snow Child by Owen Ivy. Um, <laughs> this is about a couple living in Alaska in the 1920s and they can't have children so they decided to make a snow child. It won some kind of very good award. <laughs> um, I saw Reagan from Peru's Project haul this a while ago and also I think it's pretty pretty. The, the last of my thrift store finds is this gorgeous edition of Anne of Green Gables um, that I just I saw it on the shelf and I was like holy crap. Anne of Green Gables is a uh, a classic children's novel. There's actually a series. Um, I've yet to read them, but I'm very excited. So the next books all come from kind of a weird circumstance, but it's fine. I work at a library and we are currently having a book sale to kind of get rid of some of our overflow. We have limited space and we're just trying to get stuff out. The library staff is kind of encouraged to take whatever we want. And so these are the ones that I picked up from the book sale before they actually went to the book sale. <laughs> the first book I have is this nonfiction book about Krakatoa, uh, which is a volcano that erupted in the 1800s and it was basically like 
the loudest noise ever recorded <laughs> in human history um, and it obviously caused a lot of damage. Krakatoa is one of those things that I just have like a weird fascination with so I've been wanting to read this for a long time and was very excited to see that um, it was in the book sale pile. Sorry I had to stop for a second because there was a fly in my room and I hope it wasn't in my shot because that's gross. The next one I got from the library book pile was Origins by Neil deGrasse Tyson. I honestly have no idea what this is about but it's by Neil deGrasse Tyson. I also picked up a copy of The Cuckoo's Calling by Robert Galbraith, J.K. Rowling, in pretty perfect condition. I haven't read anything besides Harry Potter by Joe yet, and I definitely have not read, you know, like mystery thrillers before, so I'm very excited to get to this sometime. I also picked up um, this book, which is American Art Since 1900. I'm very interested in art. Um, but I remember when I was taking courses in college, I was sick a lot during the kind of modern art uh, phases of the course, and I missed a lot of it. I missed like Warhol, I missed Dada, <laughs> like all the really good stuff. I mean, this is free, so love art. I also picked up a copy of Henna House by Nomi Eve. I saw this a lot at the library and I was always super drawn in by the cover. Um, again, don't know a whole lot about it. It was free. It's really one of those really soft books and I'm very excited about it. And the last thing from the library book sale pile is actually this Advanced Creatures copy of Armada by Ernest Klein. I read Ready Player One last month and I didn't love it. I liked it. So I'm not sure when I'm going to get to this. Might not be super soon but I'm glad to have it. And the last books are all books that I actually, um, you know, bought online. Um, not that I didn't buy some of these. I'm going to stop talking. The first one is Falling to Earth by Kate Southwood. This is um, a beautiful Europa edition. I don't know what it is about the Europa editions. I just, I find almost all of them really cool looking. This I kept seeing in the library and it always drew me in because it's actually about the tri-state tornado that occurred uh, in 1925, <laughs> uh, which is like the costliest, deadliest tornado in U.S. history. It cut through three states, tri-state tornado. It took a lot of lives, but it's, you know, literary fiction about that, and I think it could be really cool. The next one I have is... <laughs> The Crimson Petal in the White by Michelle Faber. Everybody and their brother has been reading this lately. Uh, mine unfortunately came without a dust jacket, but I mean it's like 800 pages so, you know, like less weight. It's fine. This is historical fiction about Victorian London, prostitutes, very atmospheric. Again, don't know a lot about it. I'm so great at like knowing the books I talk about. The next thing I have I was very excited about. You probably know all about this. This is The Hungry Ghost Festival by Jen Campbell. This is her debut poetry collection. Jen is a YouTuber here on booktube and she writes fantastic poetry. Some of it is on her channel uh, and she has read some of it and I just got goosebumps. And she was lovely enough to inscribe it to me. Uh, I am so excited to read this. I read like the first one and I loved it. I'll probably pick up more of it tonight. And the last three books are brand new. They're probably three of the prettiest books I own. I'm so excited about them. First one is The Miniaturist by Jesse Burton. Again, you probably know about this. This is about like golden age era Amsterdam when they're really super rich from trading and about a woman who is uh, has an arranged marriage to an older man and is given a miniature of the house they're going to live in and weird shit goes down. I got the UK edition. Um, not that I don't like the US one, but the UK one is much prettier and it's so soft. The next one uh, I pre-ordered. I kept seeing it on Goodreads and I entered and entered and entered for an advanced copy, but I didn't get it, so whatever. But it is Everybody Rise by Stephanie Clifford. This is her debut, so I'm I'm on, honestly not even sure if I'm going to like it. I just think the cover is so beautiful. 
which is a horrible reason. I'm a horrible person. This is about Manhattan in 2006, almost present day, but not really. And it is about a woman trying to make it to the top of the journalism industry, possibly, but mostly it's a pretty book. And lastly is another book, and probably one of the prettiest books I own. This is called In a Dark Wood, and it is by Dante Alighieri scholar Joseph Luzzi. He talks about using Dante in the Divine Comedy to relate to his trials and tribulations in real life. I believe he loses his wife and child, and this is his memoir about kind of using Dante to overcome that and to realize things, and it's gonna be great and it's gonna be sad, and it's very, very beautiful. We have the dust jacket. It's like that. And you've got like this half dust jacket type of thing. I read The Divine Comedy earlier this year and fell in love with it. So I think this is going to be great and heartbreaking. And that is all of the books that I have right now that are new. <sighs> Thank you for sticking with me. I hope to have another video out to you soon. It's probably going to be my August wrap up. See ya. Thanks. Bye.